I can add it to my collection. Oh, <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> well, I don't care what you say. This is like fate or divine presence or something. Listen, don't become a Jesus freak. Just because there's a pig in the box and you collect pigs, it's no big deal. Like, it's just a coincidence. It's nothing more than that. You're such a skeptic. I'm not a skeptic. I'm some, someone that others would call a realist. Or, I don't know, an actual pig. <laughs> Funny. Wait, hold on, hold on! All right. Be prepared to be wowed. That's what it's a. Are you fucking kidding me? What is that? That's a. What is that? Like a Benoit ball? What is that? that that's it. That's fucking it. That's 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 the only thing in here. Okay, let, let that's me, bullshit. Well, let me see. Let me see. It's pretty. They're not as pretty as piggy though. All right, well, the good news is it will make numero uno a lot easier. What's that? That's Spanish for number one. Thanks, genius. What's the rule? Rule number one is you're supposed to leave something of equal or greater value. Isn't that subjective? I mean, how, how do you know? How do we know this had any value to the person who left it? Well, that's the, I, I, honestly, it's a little frustrating. I'm, I'm, being, I'm being completely serious. Why do I have to keep repeating myself? That's the whole point of this experience is it's about emotional value. It's not about monetary value, it's about emotional value. I don't know, do you have something? Nice. I thought you hated this. I don't hate it, I love it. It's the first thing you ever gave me. It's just not something I would wear, but I keep it with me all the time. If that's not emotional value, then I don't know what is. All right. Okay. You're the boss. Ah. Ah. All right, now listen, don't get too warm. You gotta go back in the water. Let's go. I don't wanna be here all day. <laughs>
So they swear to God it's true. He opens the box, and what's inside the box? A first edition Hemingway, Old Man in the Sea, signed by Hemingway. Now, how do you leave something of equal or greater value than that? You can't. You can't do it. I'm just saying that you can't. There's no way to find an equal or greater value. That's what I'm saying. You have jury duty. Well, no, I don't know why you fill out the form. Legally required. Bullshit, listen to me. If you fill out the form, they know where you live. If they know where you live, they can put you on jury duty. You just don't fill out the form. It's that... civic duty. <sighs> what would you guys get? Oh, you want to see what we got? Yeah. You'll never believe it. Look, do that. You got a ball. Yeah, a fucking ball. A ball that I could have gotten out of a box of cereal. That's what I found. Here, you want it? I don't want it. You can have it. This has some kind of sentimental value. This is the hand of an Oscar winner. That's what this is. That's why it's amazing. It makes noise. It's a jingle ball. Whatever happened to sentimental value? Oh, wait, whose is this? Is this mine? I didn't, oh, this is his. Turtle. Turtle. Turtle! Anyway, sentimental, you want to know about sentimental? It's a very good theory. And then I read about this guy who found this first edition Hemingway. So all bets are off. Oh my God, it's so good, Try this. No, I'm good, thank you. No, take a bite of it. I'm a vegan. Maybe the next one will be more in line with your materialistic sensibility. Speaking of which, when's the next expedition thingy? It's not called an expedition. It's called a challenge in the first place. In the second place, I was thinking that maybe in the next one, I'd like to go alone, all right? Why, I thought we had fun together. Wait a second, I thought we had fun together. <sighs> maybe here's the thing. This is, you know, it's my time. It's like my me time. I, I'm I always just... with you. Why can't we do your me time together? How about this? How about we, you know, go off and on? Like one time you come with me, one time I go alone or with, <laughs> My brother turtle, maybe I could do that. I don't always have to be together, you know, you could go shop. Yeah, okay, but that Arnold Ralstein guy went off by himself, and look what happened to him. He got stuck under a boulder for 127 days. You mean Aaron Ralston? Aaron Ralston wrote a best-selling book, and they made a big movie about it, and James Franco played him. I'd like James Franco to play me. Wouldn't you like to see James Franco play me? He got nominated for an Oscar. He got nominated for an Oscar. I could have an Oscar. Yeah, and then he cut his own arm off. Thus leaving behind something of equal or greater value. Do you see how it all comes back in circle? Oh, Griffin's here. I'll go get him. I didn't know Franco lost it on. Hey, Griffin. Hey, Miss Scarlet Lamb. Mm, I do declare this for you a gift. Thank you. Remember Sable, no doubt? Skin, turtleneck. What's up, guys? No, 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 no. Stay seated. You're gonna want to stay seated for this. I wasn't standing up. Hey, you want something to drink? I got a nice smooth Merlot or uh, something called Total Domination. Whatever you have in school with me, man. Baby, Total Domination, please. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, my heart's racing like a jackrabbit. What's going on? What's the big deal? Let me ask you a question. Are you ready for the Queen Mother Load? of all geocache challenges. I'm talking about the challenge. Oh. <laughs> it's a challenge of a lifetime. Are you ready for your minds to go? Oh, I, I don't want that. You want that, Tara. You want it. Oh, OK. What is the number one rule in life, guys? <laughs> Wait a minute. Life has rules? I wish somebody would have told me. Of course it has rules. If you want something, you go after it. Hmm? Am I right? Right. I feel like I'm right, I know I'm right. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Good, baby. Get to the fucking point about the Foster Challenge.
Uh, he knows about the Foster Challenge. Okay, oh, what's the that. Foster Challenge? It's a legendary geocache challenge. It's a myth. Where Roger Foster planted something. <laughs> it never happened. It, it doesn't happened. exist. It happened. Wait a second. We're talking about the entrepreneur. Look, okay, it's an inventor, an aviator. Everything he touched turned to gold. Yeah, so in other words, an entrepreneur. All right, Alex Trebek, he's an entrepreneur. Wait a minute. Did you know that he was a geocacher? Yeah, I think I got that part, too. All right, you got that part. Did you know that his mother died a week after he disappeared? Correct. Did you know that, smarty pants? Guys, this has zero to do with his dead mother. All right, what's important here is that he was out in the desert geocaching when he vanished. Or so some people say. Guys, the whole thing makes sense. Listen, this is this right here. Boom. What's that? It's a longitude and a latitude, and that looks like some sort of frequency. A frequency to what? To a blip. A beacon that was sent out for almost three whole minutes yesterday. Right? Yesterday. Right smack dab in the middle of all that governmental demand. But dare I call it the forbidden zone. Holy shit. Holy shit Whoa. is right. Oh, you're not thinking of going out there. Didn't you just say that place is all toxic? Well, I mean, radiation it, it dissipates, it goes away and stuff like that. And you know that how? Turtle? Why not? Oh, it was a it was an explosion. Uh, generally, when there's a leakage, it's more dangerous because it soaks into the earth and it's basically got a shelf life of two billion years. But when there's an explosion, uh, the heat from the blast generally burns it up immediately. Right. Relatively speaking, I mean, there's still radiation, but it's generally no more than we get every single day. So, you know, sunblock, long sleeves. Couldn't have said it better myself. It was amazing. Guys, we're not building summer homes. Here, guys, we are going to be in. Out, but a bing, bada, boom, wham, bam, thank you. Well, okay then. Wait. Does that mean we're going on another geocache challenge? Oh, shit! Wait. Yes! That's great. Wait, does that mean? Yes, yes, that's what it means. Biggest one yet. Okay, so where do we go? Where do we go? Soon, soon. Put that down. You're not old enough to drink. <laughs> So in a post in June 06, Roger Foster mentioned this entire area. He says it would be amazing for treasure hunters. I am so fucking excited. I can't even tell you. Save it all look up here because I'm pitching a trouser tent. <laughs> Roger fucking Foster! <laughs> Senator Barnick's comment. One moment you're there and then splat wiped away just like that. Can I ask you something? The president referred to this as Why do you put up with him? A wrinkle in justice. What? What do you mean? You're young and attractive. Press secretary you can have comment further except pretty much any guy that you want. And yet you stay with this guy and it's very well, too old for you, frankly. With this in mind. One can only wonder. Who knows what he buried out here? <laughs> like sometimes, you know, these idiots, they'll bury something like this. Somebody buried that stupid thing? Yeah. I don't believe it, neither should you. Frankly, it's the it doesn't even treat you that way. Well. I mean, he's not a bad guy. He's my brother and I love him, but he is kind of a controlling, narcissistic asshole, isn't he? That's the thing, man. This is Roger Foster we're talking about here. This is the Foster fucking challenge. Dude, I mean, this could be anything. It could be a suitcase full of money. It could be keys to a house, a blimp. Or it could be a koopy doll. Look, it's easy to be cynical about all these kind of things, but you all know the number two rule in life. What's the best way to find something? You look! <laughs> Come on! I'm shit. This is it. The last place the blip was transmitted. Can you pinpoint the spot exactly? Yeah, up in there. Up in here is a pretty big area. I don't believe this. Can I talk to you right now? Uh, you know what, uh, baby? Now's not a good time. We're kind of in the middle of something. Let's go. Come on. Garrett Reed, if you care about me at all, you will stop what you're doing and talk to me.
Lamb, you remember what Dr. Oryk said, right? You remember what he said about you coming at me all aggressive, and then I flood, and then nothing really happens. Now, this challenge has me all hyped up emotionally, and then, you know, kind of mixed in with that, at this moment, I'm having a little bit of frustration, and, and to be perfectly honest, a little guilt. Oh, really? What do you feel guilty about? Honey, can we just table this discussion for the moment, uh, and then maybe we can have it later? When? What? When, when are we going to talk about it? I don't, I don't know, honey. Later, please. Well, Dr. Ordick also said if you can't talk about something in the moment, that it would be helpful to plan and commit to a time later on. That way I will be able to manage my expectations. Okay. Okay. How about 3 o'clock? Today? Yeah. PM. Lamb, there's only one more 3 o'clock in this day, so yes, it would be PM. You'll commit to that no matter what? Yes, no matter what I'm doing. It doesn't matter whether I'm opening some great treasure that Roger Foster left for us or taking a big smelly shit. I'll stop exactly at 3 o'clock and you and I will have this discussion. Okay. Putting it on my phone. Creepy doll. What kind of soup? It's graffiti. Sable looks like she's upset. Griffin, his camera. What's up, buddy? I gotta go. taking a piss in a room that we're all standing in. Go outside. You don't have to get abusive or go outside. I don't believe I was being abusive. I believe I was being informative. Go outside. You need a thesaurus. You need manners. You need a face. Love you, turtle. Time's a good time, or I think we need to stay sharp and we need to stay focused, right? Huh. It's done on what? I just found this neat little box out there. It's kind of cool. It's nice. Why is it wet? I was just here. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my god. This <laughs> guy. All right, other than the hatch for the battery, I don't I don't know what to do. There's no way to open it. There's no way to open it. There's, there's no USB port, there's no plug. All there is is the battery. I don't know even how it works. Well, what do we do now? Do we turn it over to the authorities? You know what, this is, this is, this is bullshit. Can we find something, guys? What, we, we find this thing right here. What is this? You know, the only way we find out what this is is to hand it over to the fucking regime, the, the administration. Fuck no, because those those are the same jive turkeys that, that want to keep our eyeballs off this in the first place. You know what I mean? Fight the and... power! Fuck yeah, fight the power. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, we know we're not supposed to be here. You know, we know what we know, even though we don't know what that is. This 
This is what happens when you smoke marijuana. But it doesn't even fucking matter, right? Be because these guys, they can get a hold of our cell phones. They can get hold of our, our computers, and they can just sack the information right from us. And then, then, then they're going to know what we know, and then they're going to know that we know that they know it. It's, it's, this could be the biggest challenge of all time, and we can't tell a soul about it. That, my friend, is bullshit. Bullshit. What, what is this? You know what it is, Turtle? Do you? I have no idea what that is. Mm. Did you see any instructions on this thing? I don't see any goddamn instructions. No fucking instructions! Okay, I do not think this building is structurally sound. Okay, okay, okay. Hello? Hello? Turtle, check it out. Come on. Wait! Don't go in there. Have none of you ever seen a movie? Are you fucking for real? In pretty much every movie, especially the scary ones, there's at least one moment where the audience is just sitting there, knowing better, knowing something that the characters in the story don't know, and it makes them want to scream out, no, stop, don't do that, don't open that door. What if this is one of those moments? I mean, just imagine some couple sitting on their sofa or, or some kid watching on his computer under the covers when he should be sleeping. Okay, even I'm confused now. I'm just saying this could be the moment. This could be the tipping point. Lamb, I want to listen to you carefully. Because this could be the tipping point in our relationship. Because in every moment, life gets ramped up. And what do you do with those moments is what makes you who you are. You do not say, I will go gently into that good night. You say, I will go into that good night and I'll do a kicking and screaming like hell. Now listen to me. The bar just raised a little higher in everybody's life right here. What do you want to do? Do you, do you want to go in that hole with the rest of us? I want to go, no, not me, not me. Oh, thanks. I want to go home. I'll stop at Starbucks and get an $8 latte on the way. I'm going to watch some fictional TV show where fictional people have fictional adventures. Or do you want to live your life? Now, the only way that we're going to live our life is to go through that hole. Okay, it might be dangerous. It might be amazing. Or it might be a fucking hole in the fucking wall. But the only way we're going to know what's in there is to go inside. Now. What is the second rule of life? Uh, you want to look for the best way to look for something. Oh, wait, no, no. The other second rule, the third, let's say, what's the third rule of life? Uh, if you don't take a step, you'll always, always be, be in, in the, the same, same place. place. You want to always be in the same place, Lamb John? What do you want to do? Do you want to get on the other side of this hole? and see what life has to offer and see who you are over there. We want to stay here because I'm going through that hole. They are going through that hole. And I would love for you to come with me. And if you want to stay here, I understand, but you have to understand this. The man you're marrying is a man who loves life. And the only way to love life is to live life. Now you want to live it or you want to go home? Take a look. Oh, 
Smells like a sewer. Smells like death to me. Guys, this this reminds me of a of a gold mine that my dad took me to when I was really little. It was, it was a bad day, guys. Come on, how could being in a gold mine be a bad experience? Guys, maybe this is the home of some giant mutant spider that just wants to cocoon us and then suck all the bodily fluids out of us, leaving us a dry, emaciated husk. I'd like you to suck me dry so that I'm a husk, baby. Mm -mm. Time and place, babe. I told you about that. You know what I mean. Yeah. Guys, wait up! Garrett? Wolf? Can you slow down, please? <laughs> hey, everybody, be careful. I, I think I smell something very cool ahead. No, 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 we can't be. I can't go back. We must have missed a turn like a manhole cover or something. What the like fuck that. is the matter with you? What manhole cover? I don't know. There's no manhole cover. I, look, I just need... Look, wall, him. wall, behind you. Guess what? Surprise, another fucking wall. That's three walls. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I, didn't, I, haven't, I haven't explained anything like this to you guys before, but tight spaces really freak me out, all right? And you guys keep saying... It's uncomfortable. You guys feel uncomfortable, or is it just me? <laughs> Shit, it's really tight back here. It's not helping. Wait. Turtle. Turn off all your lights. That, that's a terrible idea. Shh. Hey, turn them off! All right, all right, all right. Now let your eyes adjust. Get to look at a raft. Come, Come on, on. Sable, you're next. Come on. Will you just be patient for once in your life? Oh. Right, let, me, let me show you how it's done. Amazing. Woo! All right, don't anybody help me. I'm coming up on my own. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> no, guys. Guys. Hello? What did I tell you? Guys. You got to live in advance. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm up. I'm back, oh. back down. Perfect. Hey, good. Hey, good. Hey. Yeah, how's this? Turtle. Hey, it's easy. Turtle, be careful. Come here. I want to show you something. Look, hey, turtle, look, look. How beautiful. You know what we need right now? A Walmart. I know I'm going to buy this land and I'm going to build a Walmart <laughs> right there. No, you're not. I was joking. <laughs> hey guys, I think someone's here before us. Some stuff over here. Oh, wow. 
Okay, I vote we leave immediately. Maybe this is the whole point of why we came. This this is a clue of some sort, right, Griffin? Absolutely. What does it mean? I guess this is good as mine, man. It's right. like an altar, like an offering or something. Yeah, it could be. All right. See, so see, honey, that's that's the point. See, she knows. You leave a little something. There you go. You got it. Bring your shirt over here. Come on, where are you going with this? Yeah. Keep, no, right. Don't look away. Yeah. Same. All right, let's, uh, how about like this? There you go. Huh? See? I like it, I like it. How about that? See, she's got it down. She knows what's going on. All right. Now, where do we go? First one, what do you think? Maybe we look for a couple more of these, see if... It's a start. Hey. That was a gunshot. Turtle! Oh! Gunshot! Get down! Everybody stay down! Stay down! Get your body as low to the ground as you can. Griffin, Sable. Griff? Yes. Turtle. Turtle. the right. To I the don't right. know. I don't know. All right. Do you know where the hole is? Wolf! And you gotta go back through Stay. the way we came in. Do you hear me? You gotta go the way we came in. Shit. Three! Turtle brother! Turtle! Jimmy! Jimmy.
Reception. Who's that? Uh, hello? beginning of a new one, a twisted, backward new world. I know it. Your friend in the kitchen sure as hell knows it. And now you know it too. So you've had your eyes open, or one eye anyway. We'll see about the other. See if you can stay off the menu. Shut up! Shut up! Who 
are you anyway? Name's Roger. Nice to meet you. Holy shit. You're Roger Foster. Let me give you a nickel's worth of free advice. You want to be a pet. And you gotta eat. Don't forget to eat. Doing. I'm getting out of here. No, my God. You really think it'd be that easy? You think I would still be here if that was that easy? No, there you can't walk around in the like that. Even in the daylight, it's dangerous. You don't have a plan. You haven't been here long enough. You don't know what you're doing. You're gonna be walking around blind. My eyes are open. You said it yourself. I said you had one eye open, and that's not what I was talking about. Yeah, we're in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man who's king. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is labeled a heathen and executed for telling everybody what he sees. Stop what you're doing, I'm not going. Fine. Suit yourself.
Where's the wolf? We need to get faster. We need to get faster. Who? <laughs> you just be here for it now. Oh, I don't know what you've done. Oh. Come on. Oh. 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 God. Oh. Hi. Roger Foster. Nice to meet you. Save it. Oh. What am I? The uh, the prize? You got something of equal or greater value to leave behind? We gotta get out of here. We're just the way back to the tunnel. Ah, oh, the tunnel. That tunnel is a bad idea. I tried to go through that tunnel, and I got this for it. Wait. Wait, no, 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 We can't go. We... The, 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 the thing is the beacon. We, we have to get... Forget the fucking beacon. We have him. That's proof enough. That's true. We can't take the tunnels. Listen. There was this Mexican girl that came in here some time ago. She told me she came up here through a creek with her friends, right? Uh, some kind of underground waterway, probably for flash floods where they paved it all in and then hey, nature. What is the video. point of this? The point is, I think if we can get to that waterway, we might be able to get out of here. Okay, let's go. We, we, we have to go. Oh, okay, that's good. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Hold on. You can't just go out there willy-nilly. Those mud pots will swallow you up and they'll cook you through, all right? Now, I've been through this door several times. There's a trail off to the left. Goes through the tall grass and leads to the foothills. Just follow me. You know, I just thought of something. My mother's gonna be happy to see me.
you want to do it, just do it fast. Just do it fast. I'm so sorry, I thought you were one of those things. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. You just hit me in the head with a fucking rock. I know, I know. Let me see, let me see. Oh my God, you're bleeding. We need to get you to the hospital. It's not from that. I got shot. By with those things? Those pig things? No, I think it was you. Okay, um, what do we do? Are, are you okay? Can, can you walk? I don't know. I don't feel anything except you hit me with you a rock. You don't have to be such a fucking bitch about it. Moving forward. Can you tell me what happened? There was a shovel. I grabbed it. Fuck with me, motherfucker! It charged me. Next thing I know, it's got the shovel and I'm on the ground. It didn't kill me. Water? In here. Come on. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't go in there. It's dark and you don't know what's in there. What do you mean we don't know what's in there? We know what's out here, which is fucking worse. Fuck. Well, what, what would Wolf do? Order takeout. What would Griffin do? Griffin want to expose this fucking place. I want to nuke these motherfuckers. I say fuck this shit. Let's finish this challenge.
to take her. Why? Does it really fucking matter?
and stick a gag in his big stupid snout. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere near that thing's snout. We don't need it, I got pictures. You're a strong, independent woman, but we have a better chance of making this together, okay? So let's go.
What are we gonna do today? What do you want to do today? Something. Nothing. Let's go skydiving today. <laughs> <laughs> I live here. What are you doing here? Why are you here? Dude, where the fuck did she come from? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What's oh my god. going there? on?
Oh no, wait, you can't keep driving. We have to turn around, please. Let the tiger turn around. This is where the food source comes from. People shooting at us, and we're supposed to come Please with you. Shut the fuck up. Tiger! Fuck Tiger! Shut the fuck, the fuck up! Let's God damn it! Let's fucking okay. What the fuck is going on? What are you doing? We left my friend for dead back. No, fuck you! What is going on? What, what? are you no. doing? Ah! What is happening? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Son of a bitch! Come on! None of you ever seen a movie?
Grab my hand, let's hit the pavement We've got a long way to go and no time to be wasted Just follow my lead, baby, don't be scared I don't know where we're going, but we're going somewhere us if they wanna but they couldn't even catch us in their trees the sirens roar as we run into the night we can't stop till we're out of the suppers and under the city lights let's change our names and never be heard from let's start a new life away in their dreams.